पकड़ा था इसे सबको फोल्ड कर देना मतलब ऊपर तक तो वो बोल रहे अंदर से अंदर से अंदर से रिकॉर्ड कर साइड से करूंगा ना ऐसा साइड से ही करूंगा अंदर 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 नहीं जाएंगे
His work in drafting a constitution and fighting against discrimination has had a profound impact on the country's social justice. Similarly, Birsa Munda was a revolutionary figure who led against the British colonies in the late 19th century. He fought for the rights of the animal communities and for the symbol of resistance against oppressions and exploitations. Today's library is a tribute to their contribution to our society and from their ideas and experiences. Before we enter into the lecture series, I would like to welcome our honorable guests, like Manisha and Sundar, to do the honor. Um. This tradition of hand washing ceremony is a way to show our respect to our guests and elders in our Adivasi traditional culture. Dr. Babasai Bambedkar Memorial Lecture and 
A very good morning to respect their delivery diets, colleagues, staff, and all my dear students and uh, who have come from Guja and other places. About this organizing team of AML, VBA, Ocean Science, I welcome you all for this 13th AML. This Tulsapur campus has been organizing AML and for so many years. And since 2010, we have started and were commemorated. And also, we have invited Amaya to deliver a lecture on AML. Uh, it's been a great pleasure that to invite various academics, academicians, activists, social workers, and so on. So we are invited, sir, like Professor Kunaman, Professor Ipan Dhaniwale, uh, Martin Makhansi, or Divakarji, and so many other people, Mahal Khan, like Mandir, and so on. So it's a great pleasure that we are inviting and enlightening our students and even the social workers. This year, uh, we have amongst us Professor uh, Ramayas, the Dean of the People of Activity Cell, Mumbai, Lightning Officer of the PSD is Mumbai. And I'm extremely privileged to welcome sir for this today's lecture on on America and Nixon building. So this is the theme that we have selected for the today's lecture. And it's a great pleasure that we have accepted our invitation in fashion and time and that that is number I there. Such a short notice, it was really difficult to invite a personality that is not on his own. He is a part and parcel of our family, but the implicates and managing other kind of living things also. But, sir, thank you very much for accepting our invitation and uh, being coming to the uh, Jambo campus. We look forward to this lecture on the current challenges faced by the marginalized sections of the society, plus whatever challenges that we have been facing today. You know, that's, I think, the shrinking the spaces of democracy, or the democracy, or the, uh, 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 like the fundamental rights, or the direct principles of the state policy. How do we enhance and create an enabling environment to have a outside of the spaces where we can have debates, dialogues, and not a kind of maybe the threatening space? If anything speaks, okay, then you have been thinking, uh, the kind of the idea. Yes, you have an eye by our machinery and things. So, how do we create that space? That is one important challenge that we have to speak and have some kind of debate and discussions in future also. Because nation building is not just maybe anything that some of these government or any political parties are now. In fact, it is a collective because they are under because as as an architect of our Indian constitution, they have all the policies and programs based on the, and we have been celebrating all of it. I think that space is very really important, including all the states, all the civic society, all the media, and, and social actions and social movements and things like that. How do we take care of all those kinds of things? I think that's the real challenge we focus. I hope that we will throw some light on these aspects also. And, and, and and of course, Janisar uh, also will speak on these uh, uh, points also. So, with this, we will stop here. So, we go into the order. And you know, we will be able to get what we can get. Exams will be able to get our own and our own program will be busy. But we will be able to get our own program. We will be able to get our own program. We will be able to get our own program. We will be able to get our own program. We will be able to get our own
So this is what you know. This theme, I thought, you know, it is very much required. Not only the world, but also in India, the situation of diversity is, which is, there are so many things that are happening, and now there is a time to all of us to wake up and think about each other, respect each other, whatever we are coming from families, our, 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 our religion, our caste, we have to respect that diversity and that's the beauty of our country. And that is why I find this, this uh, whole um, the theme of the World Social Work Day is very much, I find it is relevant to us and relevant to our constitution. When I'm talking about constitution, we are going to celebrate 75 years of our constitution after two years. It's called the Constitution Dhamrut Dalham Dos Salme celebrate the name of the name. But how many people know about constitution? How many people? I think even educated people do not know much about constitution. They are also confused. If religious people say this is something that document created by Dr. Ambedkar for the list, for weaker sections, those kind of people, they do not know the document and it is, I am not talking about only illiterate but also there are many illiterate people, they do not know much about the constitution and that is why when I say respecting diversity through social action, the social action should be to make it aware about the constitution. So we have one and a half hour here in our, in our hand. So I have decided for myself that next one and, one and a half year, I am going to do a uh, talk about the constitution. And the series has already started last uh, week. Uh, on Women's Day, we have celebrated, this is what you know, we have um, um, printed here, Bharata Che Savita, and then Women's Day, we have had uh, two celebrations we have organized on Constitution. So, wherever I decided that wherever I will go, I will talk about the Constitution. Because this is how people will be aware about this. This is how people will be known about the Constitution, their rights. Knowing about their constitution, the constitution means knowing about their rights. If people know about their rights, they will also know about their development. So, and that is why I um, decided now in our campus also we will uh, uh, we will we'll try we will make efforts to make people and even in our field when our students go, we will have proper um, posters poster series and students will take those poster series in the villages and we will make people aware about the constitution. So I don't take much time. We uh, have Dr. Uh, Professor Ramaya is going to talk. He will enjoy his lecture. But um, once again, I, uh, I welcome all of you, Professor Ramaya and um, the area team. Uh, and I wish you, you know, for these two days, we we'll all enjoy. Thank you. Thank you, Amit Dari, sir. Now we invite our keynote speaker to go ahead with the lecture. Thank you for inviting me 
I am so glad personally thank the AMPL organizing committee. Something we started uh, of course now since it is 19th AML uh, going to be on uh, this month. So I'm glad that seeing the main campus that we started and it's going to be I hope the other campuses will soon start lectures on uh, in the name of such known scholars and leaders. With that introduction, uh, we go to the topic today too because it's a last invitation, so I am also trying to uh, uh, reflect uh, on some lectures similar delivered earlier, but uh, it's slightly different. Um, I just got a print of one some notes, it's incredibly, I have a vision problem reading it in case I face the different here. So, nation building is the topic we have chosen. In fact, uh, already uh, uh, Dr. Sambat and uh, Professor Ramesh have introduced some, uh, raised some very, very basic questions. Hope that, uh, I am some pundit, we will give an answer and we will implement it and everything will be solved. That's not the case. But I think the answer lies in organizing such events. How to create space? This is the way you create And the one more saying, no, we will not allow you to speak, but you continue to speak. That is the only way there is no shortcut to it. And it's a very painful way, but there is no other. I think one has to be true to what Baba Sat said, or even what Krishna uh, Mundaji uh, said, that when justice is on your side, I don't think you would fight in your struggle for justice. So there is justice. Your demand, your struggle is based on truth, reality, and it is genuine. So you will definitely will be. And we should have that hope. Now, nation building. Now, first question comes: What is nation? How to build the nations? Anyway, India is already nations. Why you talk about nation building now? Uh, that's some basic question. Um, Ramajaya also talked about diversity. Uh, if I can take you back to the constitutional debate when they were trying to formulate the preamble of the constitution and the contradiction is visible right there. How our preamble reads, we people of India. Many say that our constitution has the is based on the British and American constitution. Yes, the societies are from there. The constitution says we the people of India. At that time, the other leaders at that time said, Why do you want to say we the people of India? They said we the Indians. They wanted to write we the Indians. And American response was. We have not yet become Indians, but yet we are still Hindus and Muslims and Brahmins and Dalits and backward castes. We have not become Indians. We will become Indians one day, but today we are not yet become Indian. So it is wise to write we the people of India and write we the Indians. You understand now the difference? Now we can ask ourselves whether we have become Indians or we still remain. Was the caution given by Ambedkar at that time is correct or not? You agree with me, we are yet to become Indians. And not only that, we have to become Indians, we also want other India of a particular kind now. We will ask for secular India, where every religion is right. But there is another group of people now, we don't want. We want this India. Hindu nationalism, Muslim nationalism, all these things are coming up. In fact, uh, talking about nation building is more relevant today than any time in the past. And remembering what Ambedkar said becomes more relevant. In fact, everybody, irrespective of what political dispensation one comes from, everybody wants to look at uh, what Ambedkar 
more confidence, especially with everybody looking back to the these days. And you will find a lot of so called otherwise other cars are really committed very seriously. It's no matter, it doesn't matter that they vote or they do not vote, but they are reading a bit. That's one interesting thing about it. Whatever they are reading. So, we are, at that time itself, we are talking about unity in diversity. Even today, the Congress government comes with the unity in diversity. And the very claim that unity in diversity indicates there is no unity. Otherwise, why you talk about unity in diversity, right? Very, that slogan, unity in diversity, in itself indicates there is no unity. So, that diversity now, again, is very good. The word diversity, I don't want to use the word diversity because the word diversity hides disparity. The word diversity, in my opinion, hides disparity. Unity in diversity may be possible. Unity in disparity is not possible. See, if you talk about unity in disparity, then you have no option to address disparity. But I don't want to address disparity. So I keep telling unity in diversity. You are going to do some under lecture. The child students, they are happy. You are going to do some under lecture. The others are happy. On any independent stage, you organize. Some tribal dance, some Dalit dance, some Tamil Nadu dance, some Maharashtra dance. Diversity. That is, you celebrate diversity. But if you look at how the the centrally allocated funds are dispersed to different states, then you will understand what is the politics. You will understand how fund allocation to different ministries. Then you will come to know what's where the disparity comes. So by saying Unity in diversity, in a way, you are hiding the crude reality of disparity that exists across states, on gender line, on caste line, on religious line. By, by saying unity in diversity, celebrate diversity, you hide disparity. As an educational institution, it is our moral duty, not simply talking about sloganizing. sloganizing. You see where the disparity lies. First, to diagnose it. When we are not even ready to diagnose the problem, illness, what kind of a treatment you will need? By saying you will look in diversity, nobody will look at the problem. In diversity, when I celebrate, one of the sociologists, uh, uh, the Bunker, was saying that caste is not plurality. The different castes have different culture. So you may exist to be celebrated. Because there are also in this Dalit culture, Amara culture, we will celebrate. But if you go little closely, you will understand what you consider as a culture, maybe sometimes, many times, become the means of operations of that very community. I, I have seen people, Yadu Bocha, Amara culture, and Sadi Use Katan. You celebrate that. Women's Katan in the kitchen is women's culture, the tradition is Sadi Use Katan. Education category. You celebrate that. You celebrate. So, we are today talking about make in India, right? Major product. But making India itself is a challenge. Making India is a reality today. But making India is nobody's product. We have given up that. We have not made India yet. We are not even bothered to. Make India. And I say make India, nation will take That's what the point So making India is a huge project. Nobody is attending. We are now talking about make in India. What happens to India? India is, is India is becoming more and more united or it is breaking. So these are some of the basic questions. Now when you say nation building, what is the basis on which you can build a nation? Because it's a reality. Any religion you name it in the world, India has. Any kind of goodness you name it in the world, India has. Any kind of worst kind of discrimination atrocities you name it, India has. Human number of languages and dialects. 
any from district to district you have variety of food culture and dress material even if you look at achar you will find thousands of varieties of achar within the street so india is actually so diverse looking at these aspects so how do you bring them together on what basis you will bring them together many leaders will say like leave everything to god god will solve the problem we are very clear god has not been able to solve the problem even within the religious place rape is taking place but god has not come to protect it's a clear evidence within the religious place i am not referring to any particular religion this happens in many most within religion there is rape taking place there is no problem with the head of the religious institution it is all kinds of corruptions in many instances uh, the statues are being thrown they are raising question you are opening the temple you are closing the temple how idols of powerful gods disappear somebody is told us if you go to british museum all indian gods and whatever they are sitting there they have been locked in the british museum and if you go to madrid's museum in new york to find i said the india idols in this amara sara dev devdar pura udhar beta hai basa hai amar ke haath mein basa hai If our gods and goddesses are not able to come out of the Indian room, and that are coming out of America, they are the Bhagya. Now that is the fate of our gods and goddesses. Remind you, I am not referring to any religion. They are all born in India. Now the other thing is, now the question comes: We are the God. Which God are you believing? Allah told us, "Oh, ye ki." ये दुनिया तो बनाया कोई बनाया कोई बोला ब्रह्मा बनाए ब्रह्मा बनाया यूनिवर्स को जीसस वो भी बोल रहा है मैं ही बनाया यूनिवर्स और मेरे गांव में थोड़ी देर बाद बोलता है मैं ही संपूर्ण और मैं ही बनाया इसका बात समझ आ गई कौन है बात कौन बनाया यूनिवर्स इसे ब्रह्मा बनाया वो अमेरिका यूनिवर्स मतलब अमेरिका इंक्लूडेड है जो बोला है उसके बेसिस में इंडिया बन जाएगा क्या बन सकता है क्या और इसके ऊपर और इंटरेस्टिंग क्या बोलता है मे बी सुप्रीम गार्ड और कोई मेरे सामने कोई भी नहीं ये ये तीन चार गार्ड फॉर एग्जांपल आई एम टेकिंग ये चार लोग को ये केवल पिटर नहीं सकते ये तीन फोर पीपल आर टू सिट इन वन प्लेस देवन नॉट वो को ये दूसरे का एक दिन बनाना चाहिए तो प्रात कैटान की सारों को एक दिन जैसे मैं कहूं बोला हूं तो आप उसे बिठा दो पांच मिनट में चारों मर जाएगा एक दूसरे को मारेगा बोले यार वो तो पहले क्यों हुआ मुझे क्यों नहीं हुआ मैं तो ये प्रमाण को मैं ही पहला किया हूँ उनके पास दो ही हाथ है मेरे पास कितना हाथ है ये मैं दे सकता हूँ यही कौन कौन से मत पर पर ये क्या फैक्ट है यू वन डाइ यू वन डाइ एट दिस मेजर क्या पास इवन मेजर जब दो सिटिंग हुए इवन ये वो बनाया और आपस में वो भी अल्लाह वाला भी बेटा है ब्रह्मा वाला भी बेटा है जीसस क्राइस्ट वाला भी बेटा है भूत देवता वाला भी बेटा है इसके अंदर भी बेटा है उनका मामला हम लोग रेडी है क्या ये मानने के लिए भाई जीसस बोल रहा है वो कल से ब्रह्मा वाला वो सही है जीसस वाला इनको नहीं माने ये उनको नहीं माने यानी फिर भी अभी साथ में बेटा है और ये अभी बोल सिद्ध जाएगा जैसे इसमें और एक बोला हर घर में बोला भाई आदमी बड़ा है देखो मैक्सिमी दो इतना गोल्ड का ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स गिर रहा है एक ये हमारा दूसरे दिन में नहीं है पावरफुल है वेपन हाथ में है इतना पावरफुल ये 
ये विकार है हमको फिर बोल रहे हैं विकार तो बहुत इंटेलिजेंट है सरस में भी है दी गॉडेस ऑफ विस्टम इतनो आ गया ये तो दिखा है आपको एक बोला है भाई दुनिया को ये कितना रेस्पेक्ट किया है पर रियलिटी में ह्यूमन को राइट टू स्पीक नहीं है ये तो दिखा है हैं पर इन रियलिटी में तुम लोग क्या करने के लिए क्या करोगे तुम लोग पढ़ाई करके क्या कर सकते हो जन में रियल में ह्यूमन का वेल्थ को राइट है क्या थोड़ा डाउट इज तो बता दूं यार सब खत्म हो गया पर ह्यूमन वो पूरा साइकिल को ऊपर बैठा है अलग अलग जगह में अलग अलग एनिमल को ऊपर बैठा है उनका खाली बाल और ऊपर का सो मच वेपन्स इन हैंड तो रियल में क्या हो रहा है यार रियल रियल में सिनी That is such a contradiction between religions and between genders. How will you base the unifying force based on what religion advocates? You agree it's not possible, just not possible. You agree on this? So it is because of this reason. Then there is a necessity of a social contract between these diverse groups. And that is, and it is that social contract with the constitution. Constitution, I will really cannot agree with whatever religion I will face. Those who make these constitutions are religious minded. They want to protect their own religious and faith. The constitution. Those who make these constitutions are religious minded. They want to protect their own religious and faith. The constitution has no option but to support the propaganda of a religious idea. But then, if we have to live together, we have to respect it, and that is the product conclusion. It gives a right to propagate your religion, profess and propagate your religion. That is right. Now, when you have nation building, how will you build a nation? When we are on religious basis, we are divided; on economic basis, we are divided, and also because India has a federal structure in diverse states. The solutions, the constitution arises, building a nation. Is that the idea is inside in the constitution? How do you ensure unity in such a diverse nation? It says, people of India secure governance, justice, right? Of various kinds, social, economic, and so on. Then it says, liberty of various kinds to every individual. And then there is just when there is liberty, when there is equality, then fraternity becomes a possibility. What is that fraternity? Bicha, ah, community, oneness. So you will find interesting in this word, very carefully crafted in the preamble of the constitution. It starts with justice. In number just his own debate, in his own writings, he starts with the liberty and moves on to. Equality and then ends it with the fraternity. Meaning, without liberty, one cannot move towards equality. Once you give liberty, let that person choose what he wants to study, what he wants to eat, what he wants to, what kind of dress he wants to wear, where does he want to sit. Give that liberty. Once that process begins, that. Will invariably lead to equality. तुम तो पहले स्टेप पे लेने के लिए बंद कर देते हो, है ना तुम लोग ऐसे ही हम बिगाड़ देते हो, सब ऊपर वाला देते हो। Unfortunately, ऊपर वाला भी तुम्हारे ना बेहतर ही चाहिए, केटर आप अपने चाहिए, चीज़ भी नहीं चलना। I'm I'm referring to all part, because मोबाइल में कौन कहता है वो हर बात में सुनता है, अंग्रेज़ में बोलो वो understand क तामुल में बोलो करता है पर दुरावन को क्या ना उसको सांस लेते ही बोलना उसका दूसरा लैंग्वेज मालूम है 
understand why I am saying this. You are claiming you are a god, but you are saying you you have to whoever comes to you to learn. This is a basic matter. You have to learn. You have to learn. This is a basic matter. Like the man who is doing the work, he is doing the work. 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 I am saying the threat of going on a religious life to be leading to a disastrous situation. That is the point I am arriving at. If any of you have any questions, I will give you a mobile phone. 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 So the constitution's ideals cannot be based on some imaginations. That there is a God, Supreme God. Uh, he is looking at you from whichever floor, and he will solve your problem. He, he cannot go. So the answer should say, the best way to solve all your problems, give liberty to every individual, irrespective of what class, what gender, what sexual orientation, what religion, nothing. You give liberty to every citizen of this country. Then one small quotation. Uh, I may have difficulty in locating it and reading for you. Uh, I, I feel that is a very interesting uh, quotation. I thought I would read it. Okay. Ambedkar says, My social philosophy may be said to be enshrined in three words liberty, equality, and fraternity. Let no one, however, say, that I have borrowed my philosophy from the French world. This liberty, equality, fraternity, any of Marxist world is people on it. From the French world. I mean, there is no difference. This is why from my Lord Buddha. I have taken it from Buddha. I have, I have not. My philosophy has roots in religion and not in political science, as many claim. I have derived them from the teachings of my master, the Buddha, in his philosophy, now this is what I want for attention. In his philosophy, in Buddha's philosophy, liberty and equality had a place, but he added that this I want all of you to carefully, very important point. I, I think he added that unlimited liberty destroyed equality. Constitution says liberty, equality, fraternity. But he says, this is not the liberty that I Buddha says, unlimited liberty destroys equality. What does it mean? After liberty, it means that. Or time be down. What does it mean? Unlimited liberty. Or if you tell Buddha, you can't be down. You can't be down. Unlimited liberty means that you can't be down. Buddha says, you can't be down. That amounts to unlimited liberty. So there is, a, there is a limit to liberty, Buddha asked. Unlimited liberty is not equal. When I say unlimited liberty, our two individuals, Obi wants to participate in, uh, in a world of the other person also wants to participate in a But who will ultimately participate? Depends upon individuals capably. If he is unlimited liberty, he will not be able to do it. He will then that will destroy equality. Then further says, and uh, liberty destroys equality, and absolute equality, there is no room for liberty. Absolute equality, meaning, you look at my height, there was a time I took you, how much of my height, you used to wonder, I used to do it in the car. But you will find somebody almost double by size. So when you say an absolute equality, there may be people who are not going to be able to do it. You will be able to do it. You will be able to do it. Why? Because capacity to eat, my capacity to differ. So that is why he says, absolute equality is not 
ट्रैवल किया उसको भी नहीं तो दैट कमोंस तो एब्सोल्युटली कौन दैट ही विल वेस्ट ही वाज नॉट कॉल्ड बिकॉज़ दैट दैट लेफ्ट नो रूम फॉर लिबर्टी वो मेडिसिन करना चाहता है ये वांट्स टू डू मेडिसिन ही वांट्स आल्सो टू डू मेडिसिन बिकॉज़ उसको मौका दिया नहीं उसे तो दैट इज एन एब्सोल्युट इक्वालिटी वो नहीं होगा बिकॉज़ उसका मेडिसिन करने के लिए एक क्रिएटिव आईडिया है तुम्हारा वो नहीं है डोंट क्लेम फॉर दिस बट इट्स एन इक्वालिटी इज नॉट जस्ट एब्सोल्युट इट्स ऑल दैट्स द पॉइंट यू आर टेलिंग दैट नो फॉर रूम फॉर लिबर्टी इन दिस फिलॉसफी लॉ हैज अ प्लेस ओनली एज अ सेफगार्ड अगेंस्ट ब्रीचेस ऑफ लिबर्टी इन वर्ल्ड now where will you apply law why law and here the explanation in this philosophy law had a place only as a safeguard against breaches of liberty so the entry of law comes to operations only when there is a breach of liberty in so whenever there is a breach of liberty in equality law uh company but he did not believe that uh, law can be a uh, guarantee for breaches of liberty in court he, he gave the highest place to fraternity now the application of it should be based on fraternity fraternity means by chara maybe when do you apply your what kind of law we need that the spirit behind application of law it should be rooted around the spirit of fraternity that by chara feel by ye law hai ye hai already lekin when you apply and try to Put behind somebody to a bar. He said there is some kind of a fraternity to be there. Don't hang anybody just because you violate. So the question of whether or not by chara she always be there. So that that is a point. Now coming back, nation. So as per the preamble of the constitution, the nation should be built based on. the universal ideals which we have outlined that is taken from the buddha's teachings like justice liberty equality that now whatever we have in terms of reservation for example reservation it is not okay somebody bechara uh, usko give he do there that people who do not enjoy equality Obviously, they will not enjoy equality. How to, what way you can help them to enjoy? Then policies like reservation. So, reservation policy is not something which are us to give. It is a strategy. It is in a way, it is a strategy towards nation building. If you give a helping hand to people who do not enjoy equality. मुझे कोई मारता बार बार मरता है हिटिंग मी आई एम मेकिंग माय एनिमी वाइफ इट इज सिंपल अदर इट इज हस्बैंड एंड वाइफ हस्बैंड बीट्स वाइफ वाइफ विल से गेट क्लास का वाइफ बीट्स हस्बैंड हस्बैंड बीट बोलता है गेट क्लास का एंड नाउ द रिवर्स हिटिंग आल्सो स्टार्ट बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट एक्सप्लोजन मेनी अदर थिंग्स लाइक दैट रेटर रेटर का हमको बहुत मार खाना पड़ता है बिकॉज़ अभी इतना तेज हो गया था ना दो आदमी ये बीवी है थ्री विमेन गेट टुगेदर इस आदमी का क्या हाल होगा उसको एक्सपीरियंस करना पड़ेगा यू कैन नॉट एक्चुअली प्रोफेसर वियास इज लॉन्ग सो हमको मालूम है उसका क्या इसका मतलब यू जस्ट कांट से एनी व्हाई आई एम ब्रिंगिंग दिस जेंडर इज नथिंग टू डू विद इंटेलिजेंस दैट्स द पॉइंट आई एम Gender is nothing to do with individuals. Whether you are man or a woman or a transgender, this type of gender no connection. Maybe one of the reasons why a lot of opposition against women, I would say, is that for generations they have been super intelligent. That is why so much oppression against them. That's it. It's a, there are warring groups historically for centuries. One one warring group will the other. You take over, then whatever that you take revenge, you take revenge against them. Similarly, on men, women's relations policy, there must have been like this. The women must have been too intelligent, and then many men must have been not up to standards. 
So, at the time, man comes to power. Now, I teach you. You have education, 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 you have education. You see all those things in the next process. Right? You have to take the tongue, cut the tongue and put the mold and lag in the ears. So, education is not given to the women. It's like this. Why is it like this? अभी मैं बोलता हूँ मैं तुम्हारा शांतु भी देखना नहीं चाहता हूँ क्योंकि इसे वाला तो दूरी तू है तू ये तक है मैं समूह बच के आ गया I don't know मैं तुम्हारा शांतु नहीं देखना चाहता यही बोलेंगे ना आज तक मुझे ये विल्की तेरे में ये ये क्या वो क्या सब किया तुम्हारा शांतु नहीं देखना that is how you take that to me same Last day, I did not use it yet. I mean, I have been doing it. I don't know what girls, I don't know what power, I don't know what to slay the girl. I have written it. And I have given everything in the name of God. Right? So, nation building, yes, it's not the only thing. It's not the only thing. If you go into those notions, then the nation building. So, how will you, how will you transform a human being? A Muslim or a Christian or anybody for that matter from Hindu, Muslim or a Christian or whatever religion you belong to a citizen. Nation building is a long process. Individuals, individual mind is set in such a way that he becomes a citizen at the end of the process, where he gives his religious identity as a vaccine and he becomes a citizen. And this is a long study, and it is not an easy study. It is difficult for us to give up our religion, give up our tradition, to give up our identity, rooted in everything. But then, if you want to be a true citizen of this country, citizen, when you say you want certain religion, takes a vaccine. Your gender takes a vaccine. Your class takes a vaccine. You are religion, you can take the vaccine. Then you become a one. And there is a slight, uh, 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 something specific to say again. I will read that. On, on, on May 17th, 1929, Amit Karo, while opposing the separation of uh, Karnataka from Maharashtra, he said that the most vital need of the day is to among the parts of the people, the students of a common nationality create in the minds of the people a sense of common nationality. The feeling not that they are Indian first, Hindus, Mohammedans, and Sikhs and Kanarika afterwards. That is a claim Mahatma Gandhi. Gandhi said. You are first Indian. Then only you are Madrasi, you are a Malayali, you are a Bihari. That's the country's position. Amitka said, but they are Indian first and Indian last. You are Indian first and Indian last. Gandhi said, you are Indian first, then only you are Hindu or Muslim. He said, you are Indian first and Muslim. Only then, nation become a nation. Otherwise, this religion will dominate our thinking process and we will always look at the other person with that notion, some suspicions. Uh, you begin to look them down upon. Uh, you look them as inferior, superior. Um, in fact, uh, there is a very uh, obvious statement also there. On 13th March 1943, in the preface to his essays on Ranade Gandhi and Jinnah, Uh, Gandhi said, I am no worship, Ambedkar said, sorry, I am no worshipper of idols. I am no worshipper of idols. I believe in breaking them. I am no worshipper of idols, statues, Bhavan Kamukti, but I believe in breaking them. I insist that if I hate Mr. Gandhi, 
It is because I love India more. I hate Gandhi and Jinnah because I love India more. Meaning, these two leaders of Hollywood are intelligent with an activity, are propagating an idea that will provide India. I hate them because, because they are, their line of thinking would break India. I hate them because I love India more. That is the problem. That is the true faith of a nationalist. I have hoped that my countrymen will someday learn that country is greater than me. men. Your country is more important. That is, you should fight for the country, not for individual people, whoever it may be. And that's why you have issues with Gandhi and Jinnah and many other such leaders. Because he was, because his idea, his vision of nation, based on those ideas, and they are universal ideas. In fact, French Revolution is based on these ideas. These ideas actually rooted in Buddhism, but uh, the later down it was uh, also in French. Now, nation building, you also then if you are looking to understand who is a nationalist. Like everybody says, I am a nationalist, you are a non nationalist. If you are talking anything about what I say, you are a non nationalist. Right? Whatever I say, you have to say yes, then you are a true national. If you counter whatever I say, then you are a non nationalist. And okay, I am it's not nationalist. India is a peculiar country. And, and patriots are peculiar people. A patriot and a nationalist in India is one who seeks to open eyes his fellow men treated as being less than human beings. But his humanity does not rise in so, in India, we have nas nationals who are very peculiar people. Why he say they are peculiar? Because your own fellow countrymen are being treated less than a human being. But you don't feel bad about it. His humanity does not rise to protest. He knows that men and women for no cause are denied their human rights. But it does not bring his civic sense to help to helpful actions. He finds whole crowds of people shut out from public employment. Entire communities, number of communities have been shut out of government service. But it does not rouse his sense of justice and fair play. Hundreds of evil practices that injure man and women and society are perceived by him, but they do not sicken him with disgust. There are so many bad things happening in the society. Men are treated badly, unjustly. It does not uh, break his conscience. I am glad. I am glad I do not belong to that class of patriots. He makes a distinction between a patriots of this kind and for himself. I, he says, I don't belong to that kind of patriot. I belong to that class which takes its stand on democracy and which seeks to destroy monopoly in a very shape and form. Our aim is to realize in practice our ideal of one man, one vote, one value in all walks of life, political, economic, and social. It is because representative government is one means is one one means to that end that the repressed classes attached to it as great a value, and it is because of its value to us that I have urged upon you 
the necessity of making your declaration subject to fulfillment. So, the democracy, the representative of democracy, World Bank, um, parliamentary democracy, that is what we follow. We have achieved equality. Now, the equality that we have achieved even today, he says it is a political equality. The democracy we have achieved, he says it is a political democracy. He says we have not achieved social democracy. Now, what does it mean by political democracy? He says, irrespective of who caused that vote, you are a man or a woman or a younger age or older age, whichever religion you belong to, the value of the vote you cast is the same. A vote cast by a prime minister or a few, the value of the vote is one. On that way, everybody is equal. Right? You are a Maharashtrian, I am a Madrasi. You cast one vote. You may say that Maharashtra, Ambedkar place where Ambedkar was his own state. So every Maharashtra will have two votes now. Only one vote. And the value of that vote is same value that I have got. So although I come from Tamil Nadu and you are a Maharashtra, we are equal. Because we have got a political equality. Your vote and my vote at the same time. This is fine. But this political democracy that we have got, if it does not translate into social democracy, those who suffer from inequality will blow up the political democracy that we are so laboriously built. If the political democracy does not translate into social democracy, those who suffer from inequality in this society will blow up the political democracy. And then we must be proud. Meaning, country is almost like a school of What do you mean by social democracy? Other exchanges. For social democracy means a way of life that recognizes liberty, equality, fraternity. Social democracy means a way of life, a daily way of life in which all of us recognize liberty, equality, and fraternity. Now, going by this, this definition, do we enjoy social democracy? Look at your own village. We are come from village. If you look at, if you look at so even the so called progressive state, Tamil Nadu, which is a very powerful anti Brahmin moment. See, here I want to say the, the problem we are facing nation today, for the time being, we will come down a little to Hinduism, closer, because the caste, caste question is a big issue. One more bad thing. Uh, he says in India there are castes. These castes are anti national. Caste, caste is an anti national. In the first place, because they bring about separation in social life. He says caste system as such is anti-national in its spirit because it brings separation in our social life. They are anti-national also because they generate jealousy and antipathy between caste and caste. If one caste goes up, the other caste cannot be. If one caste is being faced a lot of hurdles, the other caste is not at all hurdles. But we must overcome all of these difficulties if we wish to become a nation if we are. So this is caste system itself in spirit. With a caste system, you can never become a citizen. You always say you are a part of our caste, you are a part of our caste. And in within each, you have Brahmi, you have Brahmin, Chatriya, Vaishya, Shudra, and then again Adishudra, they have this. But within each caste, there are a number of subcasts. Countless subcasts. We did one study on Northern Samaj in Maharashtra, and we want to put it interesting. Uh, Narrative that means Mahar, Mahar Samarasta are they eat the different portion of a cow, they want them to eat the bad portion of a cow. There is no other difference between these two. See how cows are anti-Hindu. If 
both need the same animal. But based on what portion of a cow you will use that cow? If you go to the cow, you will say the butter meat, mutton, the butter meat, cow. And then you have another company, Satriya, they eat pig. And they don't have an exception of this. Like the Indian Brahmin who go to America, they will eat the best quality of beef. India, they will not have some harm is given. But there you will eat the best high quality beef. Maybe, I don't know some of the Indian producers. I had an interaction when I was a visitor to the Columbia University. And that is what I am saying. So, and similarly you will find, uh, even among the Brahmins, all this I am giving, for example, my friend, maybe from all kinds of countries around, please excuse me. This is also an academic Because we, some, we, we are shy of looking at some of the issues that we are faced today. We don't talk about uh, gender issues. However uncomfortable, there is no other way we have to talk about. Even when our women write, they open up, there is no such thing. You have to bear with it. What they are saying is the reality. Similarly, you have no way. You have to bear We may have to be on the side of the other. That is what you have to accept. You have to accept. That no child can actually talk about it. Then you are not ready, ready, ready to accept that reality. It's all solving. So you can go to solve it. Even among Brahmins, you can find correct. One type of Brahmin will find three lines drawn here. Another type of uh, Brahmin will find two lines drawn here. The third variety will find two lines plus one center with me. Even the very appearance, they want to show hand. I'm a Brahmin man. They fight among themselves for, you know, I have. They say, I'm a Brahmin man. Though when he came in, he was a Brahmin man. And he said, And you are not ready to even compromise the number of men. Yes, I mean, yeah. This is what the reality they are uh, saying. So, we are divided on these lines. Look at some of the, I don't know, Maharashtra's thing. There was a study, uh, already a study, um, and that was published by Professor Kanshyamsha and Professor Thoran Book, and some of you have read that, and that's a pretty rural India. So, he says in the 84% of the religious, even today, there is an the Dalit wants to get a tea, a separate conversation. In the town itself, it's a reality today. So if one, he should feel ashamed of it. After 75 years of independence, non revolutions, all those things. Now you have to go and work up and give you that. This is the first time you have to touch it. No such notion. All the things are there. It's a reality today. You are not allowed to wear a coat in your own location. And you say, Bhavan Chu Peta, you have no problem. Community has no problem. Bhavan Chu Peta, you have no problem. People, people are the God of the God, actually. They are the God of the God. They are the God of the God. They are the God of the God. I am saying because, don't take me wrong, these are group realities, they are the answer. Because you are not ready to accept, you cannot do it as a solution. And that is why, we, we face this problem. So the Constitution talks about the number of uh, uh, provisions, special provisions, uh, reservations. As you know that there was a 
any many 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 thing you would talk about the car they will say reservation this is to reservation in time so i am very thankful to modi ji now for sakil reservation india party अक्सर ब्राह्मण अगर आप पता सुन रहे हैं याद है उनको भी नहीं है तो हाउ डू यू वन आई डोंट वांट गो इनटू द डिबेट हाउ जस्टिफाइड इट्स फाइन बट आई इज सब यू रिजर्वेशन हो गया पहले तो एससी एसटी का मत बोल दे सब कर मत काम करना है अच्छा ही वंडर इट इज इक्वालिटी दैट स्टेम ऑफ ऑल रिजर्वेशन मेरे ऊपर चला जाएगा अभी मेरे चला नहीं जाएगा प्रॉब्लम नहीं होगा क्या मैंने अपनी डिमांड की परसेंटेशन क्या प्रॉब्लम है ये तो उस पर्सन पे टेंशन ना क्यों क्या प्रॉब्लम हो रहा है सबको दे दिया सर वही बात है वही बात है उनको भी देना चाहिए सो ये सब इस अराउंड विल अफेक्ट अभी आपके अंदर ही वही भी अंदर तो बोल रहा है अभी बोल रहा है यू यू आर एलिजिबल फॉर रिजर्वेशन प्रोवाइडेड यू आर इन हिंदुइज्म व्हाई हिंदुइज्म टॉक्स अबाउट कास्ट इफ यू मूव द क्रिश्चियनिटी Christianity does not believe in caste system, so उधर आ गया था तो उन रिजर्वेशन में और वहाँ प्रॉब्लम क्या है वहाँ होने के बाद भी वहाँ पर इन द क्रिश्चियन भी एक तो भगवान का इश्यू है I I come back to God because वहाँ अभी जीसस तो हो गया before जीसस ये बिल्कुल इसी को बता दिया कि अभी इधर ये शेटु का सुन जाता है कन्वर्जन करके उधर हो गया और उधर चर्च के लिए अलग अलग � अपर कास्ट क्रिश्चियन अलग है। सिर्फ क्रिश्चियनिटी डस नॉट बिलीव इन कास्ट सिस्टम, बट क्रिश्चियन्स डू। इस्लाम डस नॉट सिक्किसम डस नॉट प्रीच कास्ट। ये तो ना फिर वो भी तो न्यू ऑन। यू फाइंड गुरुद्वारा या दी सर्टेन सेक्शंस ऑफ सिक्स कम्युनिटी को They are going because even among the Christian caste, they are giving. It's caste is like a virus, and constitution is like an antivirus. The antivirus trying to actually eliminate caste, but the virus is so powerful, deadly. It's not able to do it because there are more viruses than antivirus. The number of Is that more than the number one device? Yeah. In fact, even more interesting than that, religion condemns all caste. Should that mean that all caste? They constitute the majority, or the fifty plus. They are the now actually the upper caste. We are saying now the Brahmin is the main actor, my friend. Sir, so that's what. Illogical relation only you understand. When things like the Jyotirav Phule, there are many backward caste leaders. So the caste has corrupted our rational thinking. It has no problem. So if you we have to build nations, and if we have to transcend ourselves from an individual born to particular religion or caste or gender to citizens, we have to really reflect, critically reflect on the nation also. We have. And the faction. So as the doctor I used to say, I mean, he has to be used to Ubuntu. No, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, what is it? It does not allow any virus. Virus, when I was trying to find Ubuntu struggle, means and ends. Pandra minute mark. I mean, but the virus is not there. We need for such a Ubuntu kind of system installed in our mind. Yeah, last time over virus. The virus is different. It is, it is in us. Virus is in us. The the notion of different women it is in us. The notion of looking at somebody on caste line it is in us. The notion of looking at person of another religion is in fear it is in us. Problem does not really understand. Problem lies within. That's why. You can say we are somewhere. All of us are disconnected. We have to reflect and accept. This is a difficult. When our mind is conditioned to live our life in a particular line, suddenly change becomes difficult. 
I'm very comfortable whenever I go home, my wife needs tea. Suddenly, Maybe tomorrow, tomorrow,
उतना ही प्रॉब्लम होगा ऑल यूर ऑल यूर ग्रेट टाइम विल डिसअपियर इन टू थ्री मंथ बाद में फिर वेट कर रहे होगा क्या गड़बड़ क्या दिस इज द ट्रैप यूनिवर्सल ट्रैप मैं कोलंबिया का पहले एंट्री किया था उधर भी जाके काफी फ्रेंड और अमेरिकन आई लव सो आई हैव नो गर्लफ्रेंड आई डिड नॉट मीन फॉर मी कोलंबिया इज अ ह्यूज लवली कैंपस वो स्टेट के में बैठ के काफी गिटार लेके गए तो म्यूजिक में इंटरेस्ट हो गया था उधर भी एक आई हैव नो गर्लफ्रेंड आई वो था हमारे इंडिया में पर वो भी दिल नहीं था Question is lot of people. My question is lot of people keep thinking uh, the culture is a stagnant term or the uh, the static term. Uh, but I always been of uh, such thought that the culture has been um, it should be dynamic and it is dynamic. Uh, if we like, don't you think so? If we uh, don't keep amending the culture from time to time with respect to time, uh, then it can create more disparity uh, than diversity. So where where exactly to draw this line? Hello. Uh, good question. See, culture is stagnating because it is always linked to religion. You you tell me any culture which people love it, and religion somebody taught centuries, centuries, centuries ago. Whatever is written, whether it is a Bible or Quran or Manusmriti or any. That how many centuries before? That's why you will not find in any other religious scripture about laptop, mouse. Uh, all these concepts are not there. Nah. The whoever conceived that idea, unko utna nahi hai. This actually they should have anticipated. The day will come. Bill Gates will come. Computer will come. Mouse will come. This. So many every time new new gadgets are coming. उनका उतना जानकारी नहीं, उसका imagination. So whatever he imagine, उसका history all over culture whether you see लोगों के रवि इंद्र साइंटिस्ट और रिवॉल्वर और उनके लिए अब इतने कल्चरल प्रोग्राम में पूरा क्या कर रहे हैं? इस आराम लिंक तो नहीं. Since your culture is stuck to a particular religion, you cannot go beyond. So that then this cultural symbol should be. We create. What is the now? If you look at the Ambedkar, you will find it's all new, new things. So allow your mind to explore some new ideas. How to celebrate? You know, every time you see even AM, even there, here, you will find something new, new coming up. 
because these students are great. Here you will find something new, new coming up. Because these students are great, you are allowed. Me. But you create a drama or a story or a play based on one mythology. That is called it is a culture. This is a cultural program. Going on. It is stuck to that. You have to get out of that. So uh, the cultural the culture will be stagnated because it's linked to a religion which is conceived centuries, centuries ago by one enemy. That is it. You have to get out of that and recreate something new. Thank you so much, sir. Any more questions? Come on, I think I am not sure enough. Okay, thank you. This one boy has asked that I should be. I don't know how to do this. Thank you. Second boy. Yes, please. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Thank, uh, thank you for your thoughts. So, my question is uh, there are two identities. One is that uh, identity of nation, and second is the personal identities which everyone has based on religion, caste, and uh, state, and everything. So, how can we ensure that the personal identities are not going on an extreme level so that we can't see a fragmented nation? Can you come again? I didn't get your question. So, you have a one individual identity based on religion, the other one is national identity. What is your question? My question is, right now you can see that the personal identities are getting on extreme level. And we are trying to have a, a national a nation building. Nah? So how can we ensure that the everyone, just like what we said, Ambedkar said that identity of India, just like what we said, Ambedkar said that identity of India is first. India, Indian first and Indian last. So how can we control in a way that personal identities are not getting on a higher side? Yes, now, see the polarization of identity based on India. Such instances are happening more these days. Because you resurrect a particular idol of the identity again and again. And then your identity as Indian will go to that. So one has to be conscious. Then I see somebody. To what extent I am willing to come out as Indian, as a fellow citizen. It's all reciprocal. If I say I am a Hindu, you go, are you trying to show symbolic? See, if you put a, 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 a line here, in a way it indicates you belong to a particular religion. You find another person wearing a topi. And that, that also symbolizes another religion. Or somebody wearing a pagati and then a talwa. It again indicates. So all these things, you may not be telling, I have belong to this religion. But the very attire that you are wearing indicates that you belong to this particular religion. But you will find interesting, I have seen some Muslim, some Sikh have come out of this. They don't wear those symbols. So it is difficult. Uh, I have seen some of the Brahmins who are extremely good people. Oh, this sacred Tantri Hagadi. Many times, I asked directly, what about your Brahmin identity? I am a Brahmin. What about your secret threat? Sacred threat? No, 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 I don't believe it. It's very difficult to maintain. It becomes dirty every time. It's difficult to really get through. He was laughing it actually. I mean, but he is a person who, on a left thinking line, has gone so deep into left orientation thinking. So he did not find this very useful. So, there are people like this. So, maybe we need to have more of that kind than I always do to religion. That is why I said your condition, your mind is conditioned to particular time. It will take time. But then once you've decided that if this identity of mine is going to keep a distance from others, then I should underplay that identity. Okay, you may continue to wear whatever we are not seeing through that now. But at least behave, talk in a manner that gives a kind of impression in the other person's mind that I can talk to you friendly. That kind that. Hello. Sir, I had a question. Uh, as you were uh, explaining about uh, how culture is stagnating and it is linked with religion, I think. So, uh, I had out of curiosity uh, that why was uh, was there a necessity to link the depressed classes or the masses of India with Buddhism or Neo-Buddhism 
and uh, was there like since Buddhism is also a religion, so can you share some? Of yeah. That? See, if you uh, how do you how do you distinguish between religion um, and uh, maybe a code of conduct? There can be a thing just code of conduct. It's not when I say religion, you will always find some superhuman being. In every religion, you will find one superhuman being. Invariably, the superhuman being happens to be a man. But in Buddha, he is not a superhuman being. He clearly says there is no God, there is no soul. Katam. So, to say that Buddhism is a religion itself wrong. It is a way of life. He himself says, you experience. Follow this path. The path I follow, this is the result. Then you follow, you may have a different result. Just because I said you don't follow, he says. So it is not, first of all, it is not a religion. It is a way of life. Based on his own experience. He said, you experience it. And what do you think is correct, you follow it. I am not saying you, whatever I said, you should follow. He clearly said, don't follow just because I said. You follow these guidelines. These guidelines may have a different result. Whatever you are convinced about, you, you follow. But following Buddhism, in my opinion, is very difficult. Because after Apko, because he says you are the problem for yourself. To move one kyata to mara kata, move kyata follow the you face problems. Simple and giving it is very simple. You create your problem. So you solve, you alone have to solve a problem. You don't have to go to another extra, uh, another man to solve your problem. Or you send to an agent. Coconut, plagana, me, candle, plagana, me, apko problem solve hota hai. That is not the man. You created a problem, you think about critical, you will find you are party to this particular problem. You have to find a solution. So it is very difficult. In other, other religion, whatever, okay, whatever mistake will happen, you come to me, I will solve your problem. Can't come ahead, think of it, it's not by the law, or it's not by the other law, Papra Baro, Narayan Baro, yes, there are rituals attached to it. Or Murga Tato, which we have, Allah Kalat plan may have, over problem solved. It is easy. You do Narayan Purnam, you have a problem solved. Why not I do that? It is easy for me. I can do any kind of a nonsense. But I can do and complete this by breaking coconut or by lighting a garbati or lighting a candle. You have a problem solved. It is easy. You have a limited solution. Then you reply. You are wrong. You are wrong. You are wrong. You made a mistake. You say sorry. You are wrong. That's what Buddha said. That is why it is difficult to follow. It is difficult to follow. So, it, it's not that easy. Thank you. I saw the answer. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir, for such an insightful talk, sir. Uh, I have a question, sir. Like you talked about uh, Dr. Ambedkar and Nissan building, basically. So, I have a like a realization, sir, that whenever we come across certain difficult times in life, for example, when the whole mankind battled the COVID pandemic, sir, the phase one and phase two, sir. So at that point of time, we were not bothered about the things like caste and religion, sir. All we were, we were talking about that, Bhaiya, please, aap oxygen cylinder dilwa dijiya me kahi se. Bhaiya, kahi se bhi bed dilwa dijiya. We were not even bothered. Even if I don't know someone, but someone came ki Bhaiya, waha pe bed khali hai, mera contact. They will see her, sir. So I came across this feeling na, ki jo difficulty hai, sir, they always bind us together. In some way or not. We may not agree, but jo taklif hai, sir, hume saaf se bandh deti hai, sir. But as soon as things come back to the old house, things come back to the normal course, then we start fighting for caste, for religion and all those things. For example, sir, when we go to a doctor for relax, we never ask, sir, what is your religion? We always ask, sir, what is your problem? Please do relax, sir, this is the problem. So why is it so, sir, that the human being is only one thing in the world. In the world, we believe in ourselves, we believe in ourselves. लेकिन जैसे ही चीजें वापस से पुराने लग रहे आती हैं, हम वापस में फिर से एक दूसरे को ब्लेम करना है स्टार्ट कर देते हैं। You answered yourself that question। See, Corona, Corona Bhagwan was very good. Corona Bhagwan brought us together and taught us a lesson, as you rightly taught us a lesson that it is possible for human being to forget your religion, forget your subcaste and caste system. And it is possible for you to live with simple food. Thoda thoda khane ko jola bila bas ho ya. It is possible, if Corona taught us, it is possible to live without having a maid in your home. 
It taught so many things. And it also taught, you know that God cannot solve your problem. Remember, it also taught God cannot solve your problem. Corona was a bigger Bhagavan than any other Bhagavan on in India. Because that Corona Bhagavan attacked India, Brahma disappeared, Jesus disappeared, it attacked America, Jesus ran away, it attacked Arab countries, Allah ran away. That is the fate of religion and the so-called God that we are talking So, it is possible for us to forget all these things and still be of help to each other. It is possible. That is a great contribution, I would say, for our men. That it should be lost a lot of lives, unfortunately. But at least this is an opportunity for us to realize, yes, it is possible for us to live together. It is possible for us to forget our religion and caste. It is possible to be of help to each other. You answered a very good question. We should, if at all we should do worship some Bhagavan, we should make Korna as our Bhagavan. And uh, because he taught so many good things. Thank you. Hello, sir. Uh, sir, thank you for your speech. My question is that um, in India, right, when we talk about uh, anything, particularly in relation to caste, the conversation, especially within, say, like the middle class, the upper middle class, and even the liberals, it begins and ends with the reservations. And now, particularly reservations from, like, you know, should it be economic or should it not? And I have sat in a lot of those discussions where that is what it devolves into, and it doesn't, it's not productive at that point. So how do you propose that when we are talking about nation building and when we are talking about, you know, diversity or inclusivity, we move beyond this or at least talk about reservations in a more constructive manner than just economic or not? It was a conference in Nagpur. I made one uh, instant observation that became a big controversy, but I don't mind repeating this, whatever be the controversy. We have now come to a state that every community has been given reservation. And it's a fact. Now nobody can say yes, yes, for the government. As I said, sub government come up one year. Now given this thing, at this stage, EW is economically interested. You have an SES interestingly, I think uh, Dr. Sambal Kale must be dealing with it on day to day basis. Scholarship to OBC students. Oh, economically we can say debate care. Family income less than one lakh rupees. This economically because he don't the government scholarship check that. But when it comes to OBC reservation, now EW reservation, who's economically because section family income less than eight lakh. You see the difference. How do you justify? And then you say you were family income is less than eight lakh rupees. You are eligible for reservation. This is highly unacceptable. So. Okay, but then I value that somebody who is poor and cannot afford education must be given economic support irrespective of caste religion. That is my position. That no matter he is a Brahmin, but if he does not have a minimum money to educate his son or a daughter, definitely he should be given an opportunity either through reservation or through economic support. I am fully for uh, Having said this, I would also recommend that upon is all reservation on caste line go on reservation purely on economic basis where if a Brahmin family income is less than one lakh rupees you put him under reservation with a slack to any family irrespective of religion caste if a family income is less than one lakh rupees you are eligible for reservation you will find in that slack AC you will find, AC you will find, a Brahmin you will find, a Hindu you will find, a Muslim you will find, but people on economic basis. You give reservation. That is that is my proposal. So, 8 lakh kilo reservation just get there. Because Unta Utana Paisai, you can avoid, you can go. Now, the immediate question, a Brahmin taking a reservation, just because he is economically poor, how that is justified when a Dalit is taking a reservation on economic basis? Because the problem, kind of problem, Dalit face, the Brahmin will not face. Right? The Dalit face, Adhichapati, Akras, the Brahmin may not face that. How do you distinguish this? And in this question was asked there. Yeah. I said, yes. There is a reservation, you can give a, 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 a point. 
then as he get a two, Abraham will get one. Because, because of the, the additional problem, challenges, it is not economic challenge alone, but it is also basically a social challenge. In order to validate that, you give two points and we were one point of Brahman. This is two points. One consideration under reservation. This is number one. Then, with regard to the attachability across the issue, that should be the existing law, should be firmly implemented uh, across the side. This also brings another issue. There are people who move out of Hinduism, gone to Islam and Christianity, but they also face problems. For example, Buddhism. In Maharashtra, for example, they converted after Vavasar's conversion to Buddhism, the huge number of people converted, they keep converting. Even after conversions, now to get admission, instead of calling themselves as a Buddhist, in order to gain the benefit of reservation, they are compelled to produce a certificate saying that he is a scheduled caste. Now when you say scheduled caste, scheduled caste literally meaning caste brought on the schedule. That's all it means. But how people take it, that means they are lower caste. They are untouchable. The term scheduled caste simply means caste brought under a schedule for a special protection and benefits. But the notion that we all have, scheduled caste means untouchable. Yeah. So, you Buddhists will remain Buddhist. And among Buddhists, those who are economically very poor, Unka reservation will. Under a Brahmin also economic will get a reservation. If a Buddhist face anti-jeopardy discrimination, you have a law. Any Buddhist subject to discrimination on any ground, whether religion or not, arrest them, punish them, put them in the law. And if there are cases of rape and murder and hang them. Rather than calling oneself for the name, you are a Buddhist, but then again you have to claim yourself as a lower caste and you have to put it as a city. This is an anomaly in my opinion. I know uh, I, I was criticized and here all you get criticized, but I, that is my I strongly think. If any Buddhist, even after conversion to Buddhism, if that follows subject to any discrimination, I see there should be a separate law. Why a Buddhist should take a, a protection under a scheduled caste law? You have a religious minority law. You have any discrimination against any minority. It could be a, a, a Buddhist, could be a Sikh or a, or a, a Hindu Pandit in Kashmir. There should be a special law to protect them as a minority. They are a minority. They need not be claim themselves as a scheduled caste and seek protection under the SCHT prevention of attacks. Right? That is my take on this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your uh, patience in answering our questions, sir. And for the talk, I think I so much for your uh, patience in answering our questions, sir. And for the talk, I think I speak for all of us. Speak for all of us when I say that your discussions around religion were very frank and very refreshingly frank. So thank you for talking about that. Um, we have another lecture with Mr. Shahu Patole on the food, culture, and habits of the CST communities in Maharashtra at 3:45 right here. Please come back for that. There's also an exhibition uh, by Padma Shri Awardee, Mr. Sudhara Kolbe, in the room right opposite this. So whenever you get time, it will be there for the next two days. You can go and watch. Um, and I think we can all discuss for Lashan. Thank you so much for being such a wonderful audience and engaging with us. And we'll see you again at 3:45. Thank you. Thank you.